Are you ready to throw away your laptop? Okay, maybe not throw away, but you can't take it or your desktop with you. And you've still got to do some work and travel as well. So can these Vitor XR glasses and your phone truly replace a laptop? Short answer, yes. But it's not just about whether it's possible, it's also about whether it's practical. So let's try to answer the more important question now. Should you do this? Hey yo, Yokoso, which means welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not. In my last productivity focused through the lens video, I made some mistakes and many of you pointed out that you do coding or other kinds of work in these types of glasses. And over the past several weeks, I have been testing replacing my laptop with the use of just a phone, glasses and the peripheral like some keyboard. And so this is the basic setup. I take my Vitcher Luma Pros, plug them into the USB-C cable and then into my Galaxy Z Fold 7. That's it. Samsung DeX pretty much takes care of everything else with its desktop environment, projecting that 200 inch ish virtual monitor within the glasses when I'm about three meters or so from the wall. And with this setup, my laptop just looks not so portable anymore. But of course, you don't have to do this with some stupidly expensive phone like this Z Fold 7. Really, any Galaxy flagship from the past few years will probably also work, as with other phones with a desktop mode or a tablet like this Legion Tab. So all I do here is add a portable keyboard and an optional baby mouse. And for power, this Vitor adapter is key so that I can power the glasses and phone at the same time. This time I've plugged it into a Ugreen power bank, but really you can use a wall outlet or nothing, depending on how much time you actually want to spend with DeX or other desktop environment. Did I also mention that in dropping my laptop, now I can switch from using a backpack to using something like this Steam Deck sling. But you know what? Portability here is just one part of the puzzle. Obviously things like Outlook or Gmail or the calendar app or whatever other basic tasks are natural and easy to use in the desktop mode. Text is very legible, even without the newest Luma Pro series Vitcher glasses like this one. Like the Vitcher Pros, which I've demonstrated in a previous video. Oh, and I should point out here that, apologies, in my last video, YouTube was super kind and super compressive of the images. So you can check out those images in the description or just look at these that I'm showing up on screen. Hopefully they look better than my face does at 6.30 in the morning checking emails. Anyway, anything lightweight that you want to throw at an Android phone, or if you want to remote in using something like remote desktop will be easy enough and pretty much a breeze. It poses no real challenge to this setup unless you've got not so great internet. Now there is another important factor to consider, but I'll mention that later in the video because it has to do with how you interact or how this display works inside of your glasses. And here's where the critical difference comes in. These glasses and a phone aren't replacing my computer. They're replacing the monitor and possibly the keyboard or other peripherals. If you consider this as feasible, well then this combo might do wonders for you because you can also stream games via Moonlight or Steam as well. And of course, I'm not mentioning another obvious fact, which you can also emulate games on your phone, depending on how powerful your phone is. So this is where you need to consider what this setup can do for you because it's less of a laptop replacement and more of a hyper portable remote terminal thing. Because like I'm showing you here, you could easily swap out the Vitor glasses for a portable monitor and a touchscreen, which will also work wonders. Oh, and one more thing, the electrochromic dimming or tinting on the Vitor glasses, I wouldn't call a must have, but they're definitely useful for blocking out unwanted sunlight. So can you see your surroundings with them enabled? Obviously no, and when you do disable it, you can see everything better, though all of these glasses will have some slight darkening or shading to them, so it's not like wearing regular glasses. And now here's where I'm asking you the should you question, and it gets a definitive maybe. While apps like Zoom and Google Meek will work, this is where the portable monitor might be a better choice than glasses for the simple reason that well, while you're wearing some stylish XR glasses, they might get you a few looks in your meetings and not necessarily the wanted ones. That and you might have to figure out some quirks like phone placement, but that's all to say that it's possible and maybe not necessarily preferable, at least in my opinion. But I also don't want to attend any meetings. So yeah, take that for what that is. 
But you know what? Maybe you do need to attend some meetings, and there's really no better way to do that than with some style, like the wardrobe that's available on Into the AM. Yes, they are sponsoring this video, and that's a big deal because I hate shopping for clothes. And so I love that they have everything from graphic tees to everyday pants that you could swear are meant for the office, but best for lounging around in your display glasses with your favorite handheld. And you know the best part? The materials they use are just soft enough to carefully cradle your Legion Go S, but not too smooth and slippery so as to fall off of your Norse God body. But don't just take my word for it, do yourself and me a favor by using code GAMERSGEN at checkout to save yourself 10% off your purchase and help the channel out with some very much needed affiliate revenue. Cause I mean, I'm not getting paid to be a model, that's for sure. But speaking of models, this setup might just be a pretty good model for multitasking. The productivity and brain rot potential here is undeniable. I have multiple apps running, a browser, YouTube, and a PDF. It's basically a command center that in the past you would need to lug around a big bag for and spend a ton of cash or maybe both. And here for me though is where I started to draw a line. After a few hours in, the constant reminder of wearing glasses on my face, while not heavy per se, started to weigh on me in a different way. And I'd personally much rather have the ability to just get up and walk away from a laptop or a monitor, but maybe that's just me. And to me, there's just no denying that I'd much rather spend some time playing games or watching movies in glasses like the Vitcher Lumas. And from what I've heard from all of you, while doing work in these things is possible, you won't be as efficient. And of course, I'm not judging you if you want to do work in these things. I think it's very possible and very plausible. Plus, it's your money. You should be able to do whatever you see fit with it. That is, until the missus sees the credit card bill. Now, earlier I was alluding to how these glasses show up in lens or how you interact with them. These ones that I've tested for the past month or so don't have anything like 3 off or the ability to pin the picture in space. So this means that there's always a picture in the middle of the glasses. And obviously that creates some kind of strain for you over time because you're not able to just turn your head away and giving yourself some eye relief. Now I know that there are some glasses out there that are capable of doing this, like the x One Pros, or maybe with some software like the Vitor Luma Ultras, but I don't have those on hand to test. So I'll leave that to you to tell me how important and necessary that is for this kind of setup. So after countless hours and more than a month, what's the verdict? Can you replace your laptop with something like the Vitor Luma Pros and a phone? Absolutely. I managed an entire workday emails, research, even entertainment. But the real question is, should you do this? That's the complicated part. It isn't a true one-to-one -one replacement. It's more like an alternate reality. Okay, maybe not that one. Essentially though, you trade your self-contained reliability of a laptop for the incredible portability of XR glasses with a phone, but that comes with heavy dependencies, a solid internet connection, and oftentimes another computer for heavy tasks like editing and so forth. For the minimalist though, who lives out of a backpack and enjoys tinkering, or maybe you got to travel out of just a sling, then when you're in a pinch, this is a game changer. Then again, if you need a device that can do almost anything anywhere, yeah, don't sell your laptop just yet. And if you want to see what it's mostly like when you wear these glasses, do check out these videos and get yourself some. <laughs> Oh, 모르겠어요. 저 또.